Today I'm gonna to show you my version on one of the easiest, most amazing chocolate cakes, Argentinian choco torta. Hard to believe that four simple ingredients can become such a beauty. This is creamy, delicious, and entirely no bake. If you're looking for a last minute holiday dessert that your whole family will love, you have to try choco torta. The recipe for the creamy layers calls for cream cheese and dulce de leche. You can use store-bought, you can make it yourself, whatever works works for you. You want to combine these two ingredients together. Ideally, we are looking for a stiff cream. For some reason, mine turned out really loose. If that happens to you, you can join the casserole dish club. It's an easy way to save your cake, and I do think it turned out pretty good. Far better than I had anticipated. Traditionally, though, I think choco torta is assembled as an actual cake. Simply gorgeous, standing on her own feet. Mine needed a support system, so we're gonna make this in a deep dish. You'll need any crunchy cookies of your choice. Traditionally, you do want to use chocolinas. I wasn't able to find those cookies. That did not stop me from making this cake, so do not let that stop you. Choco torta is inspired by tiramisu. If you've never had tiramisu, you're missing out. But it's essentially layers of cookies dipped in coffee, alternated with layers of cream. Now what really got me excited to try choco torta was the dulce de leche. If you love caramel and chocolate and creamy desserts, this is where it's at. It's easy to understand why choco torta is so popular in Argentina. The chocolate cookies will soak up the coffee and cream and soften almost like cake layers. So even though this recipe takes a few minutes to put together, the cookies really need time to soften. Make this a few hours ahead, but ideally make it the day before for the day after. This also allows the flavors to mingle and develop. Let me know what other desserts from around the world I should make. I would love to try your favorite recipes. Smooth out the final layer, cover, and pop in the fridge overnight. Fast forward to the day after, I had some leftover dulce de leche. So I'm gonna show you a really simple but cool way my mother used to decorate cakes when I was little. Just pipe some lines, they don't have to be perfect. It's okay if they're not straight, the final result will look really cool, almost like an optical illusion. Take a toothpick and drag the tip across the lines. If you have kids, do this with your kids brings back so many memories. And I love how this turned out. Listen, the holidays can be hectic. If you can make your life easier, I say why not? This took minutes to make and it's a dessert everybody will love. I will say it is rich, it's a lot more decadent compared to tiramisu, a tiny slice of this is more than enough. It is absolutely delicious though, you and your family will love it.